is your online information secure? Hackers and malware are risks to private and commercial institutions. A CARICOM impacts St. Lucia Cyber Security Sensitization and Training Session Tuesday morning raised awareness of the dangers of cyber assaults and shoring up cyber security. The training that we are about to undertake this, these two days will help to secure compliance and international standards and contribute to reducing the risk of cyber crimes and implementing mechanisms to enhance cyber security. There is a growing cyber threat posed by criminal groups exploring how governments and organizations can protect themselves citizens and national infrastructure and build useful cybersecurity partnership. The featured speaker, the manager for the Government Information Technology Services, Desmond Astwood, expounded on the developments and concerns in St. Lucia's technical sphere. Out of the 27 million emails that have hit the government email service, 25 million of them are spam. And that 25 million, that's the ones that the firewalls and such caught because some of them got through. Some always got get through. And when you have this um, phishing emails, they're trying to capture people's credentials. They will, once they get those credentials, they will use your accounts to deliver spam to other government members, to your contacts, to the world at large. And in fact, these same, um, you know, phishing emails, they can encourage you to click on a link. And when you click that link, it might say you're, you know, you're going to win a million dollars or you're joining this or that. What you're actually doing is telling the system, please deliver this little bit of program onto your system. And once that's delivered, they own you. CARICOM Impact's Executive Assistant, Director of Strategic Services, Earl Harris, says the region, like the rest of the world, faces an alarming increase in cyber attacks. The global impact on cyber criminology on the world is estimated at just over 10 trillion US dollars per year. We were in Grenada a couple weeks ago and PM Deacon Mitchell at Grenada Sensitization Workshop indicated that he got a report where Latin America and the Caribbean suffered in excess of 2 billion attacks in 2022. He also went on to make an additional remark which I adopted and carry with me everywhere I go. Where there is no law, there is no crime. Hence, the rationale of working with the judicial and legal professionals under separate projects funded by the 11 EDF to ensure that when the suits identify the perpetrators, we can successfully prosecute them for their crimes and hopefully recover their ill-gotten gains. Harris points out cyber criminals are non-state actors with no borders and sovereignty. The expert warns it is imperative to prevent more victims from feeling the wrath of unconscionable cyber crooks. Over the duration of this workshop, presentations will be delivered specifically to government officials, national operational stakeholders and civil society through the sharing of regional trends, capacity building initiatives and tools that can be used to secure our digital existence, thereby bolstering our region's cyber resilience. The session will be one of learning and teaching, where stakeholders interact and engage in various components to ensure the highest level of cyber security. Solaj Alfred, HTS News Force.